Kraken discovered. Long before whales, the oceans of Earth were roamed by a very different kind of air-breathing leviathan. Snaggletooth ichthyosaurs larger than school buses swam at the top of the Triassic period ocean food chain, or so it seemed before Mount Holyoke College paleontologist Mark McMenamin took a look at some of their remains in Nevada. Now he thinks there was an even larger and more cunning sea monster that preyed on ichthyosaurs, a kraken of such mythological proportions it would have sent Captain Nemo running for dry land. The evidence is at Berlin Ichthyosaur State Park in Nevada, where McManaman and his daughter spent a few days this summer. It's a site where the remains of nine 45-foot, 14-meter, ichthyosaurs, of the species Shaunisaurus popularis can be found. These were the Triassic's counterpart to today's predatory giant squid-eating sperm whales. I was aware that any time there is controversy about depth, there is probably something interesting going on, McMenamin said. And when they arrived at the remote state park and started looking at the fossils, McMenamin was struck by their strangeness. It became very clear that something very odd was going on there, said McMenamin. It was a very odd configuration of bones. First of all, the different degrees of etching on the bones suggested that the Shaunisaurs were not all killed and buried at the same time. It also looked like the bones had been purposefully rearranged. That it got him thinking about a particular modern predator that is known for just this sort of intelligent manipulation of bones. Modern octopus will do this, McManaman said. What if there was an ancient, very large sort of octopus? like the kraken of mythology. I think that these things were captured by the kraken and taken to the midden and the cephalopod would take them apart. In the fossil bed, some of the shaunisaur vertebral discs are arranged in curious linear patterns with almost geometric regularity, McMenamin explained. The proposed Triassic kraken, which could have been the most intelligent invertebrate ever, arranged the vertebral discs in double-lying patterns, with individual pieces nesting in a fitted fashion as if they were part of a puzzle. Even more creepy. The arranged vertebrae resemble the pattern of sucker discs on the cephalopod tentacle, with each vertebra strongly resembling a coleoid sucker. In other words, the vertebral disc pavement seen at the state park may represent the earliest known self-portrait. But could an octopus really have taken out such huge swimming predatory reptiles? No one would have believed such a tale until the staff of the Seattle Aquarium set up a video camera at night a few years ago to find out what was killing the sharks in one of their large tanks. What they were shocked to discover was that a large octopus they had in the same tank was the culprit. The video of one of these attacks is available on the web to anyone who uses the search terms shark versus octopus. We think that the cephalopod in the Triassic was doing the same thing, said McMenamin. Among the evidences of the kraken attacks are many more ribs broken in the Shaunisaur fossils than would seem accidental in the twisted necks of the ichthyosaurs. It was either drowning them or breaking their necks. Of course, it's the perfect Triassic prime because octopuses are mostly soft-bodied and don't fossilize well. Only their beaks or mouth parts, are hard and the chances of those being preserved nearby are very low. That means the evidence for the murderous kraken is circumstantial, which may leave some scientists rather skeptical. But McMenamin is not worried. We're ready for this, he said. We have a very good case. <laughs>